<laughs> we're recording live, live and dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm recording live and dangerous. Well, we can we can we can edit the bad bits out. Obviously, yeah, we um, probably will have. have to. <laughs> I'm Ed Mead. I'm the one of the founders of Uber, and I'm talking to Matt Gilpin, and I am the uh, yeah, well, the founder of Sprift. And um, so we're talking today about our well, it's, we're now live uh, our our partnership where um, each Uber has access to uh, to a Sprift report. Um, when they go out on on a, on a viewing, because we've been talking Matt, for crikey, a couple of years now, and we always oh, knew that this was a possibility, didn't we? I mean, for those who don't know what we're talking about, I mean, obviously, Viewer Viewer is an outsourced uh, property viewings service. We do inspections, uh, viewings, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, for estate agents. For some estate agents and property managers, we do all of them, but for others, we just do them occasionally. But the real benefit, and as you say, it's literally just gone live. I think it went live yesterday. Um, our viewers have all been told uh, today exactly what they can do. But the point is, um, so Viewer does outsourced viewings and inspections, and Spriff provides information on specific properties, local data, yeah. Yeah. recent yeah. sales prices, yeah. drills down really into data. Pretty much anything that can, that can be pulled in from anywhere is now condensed into report. And unusual, what I always liked about Spriff, and the reason I've been talking to you guys, is because there are lots of people out there who do very good. Um, assimilation and aggregation of data about local house prices, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah. But what what I haven't found anybody who uh, um, does to date is specific. I mean, I think your logo is know any property instantly, exactly, um, yeah. and that's exactly what it's about. It's about yeah. specific properties. Yeah. So for those of you, as I say, who don't know what's going on, from now on, we're from yesterday. Um, uh, Viewer uh, viewers, people going out to do these inspections and uh, particularly viewings. Get access to a Swift report, so they before they go, they can check up on this local data, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So they're going to be very well informed. So I'm not saying they'll be better informed than the negotiators coming from the offices. Indeed, <laughs> <Good> for that. <laughs> Swift is four years old uh, this week, and four years ago, it was we we yeah you know, for anybody that's involved in the property industry on a daily basis, their efforts are hampered by. Um, missing information, misleading information, inaccessible information, the time it takes to get hold of the information, the facts, the data they need to, to be going about their, their daily business. And whilst there's lots of other property data uh, companies out there, a lot of that is, is around more the market trends and percentage increases and stuff like that. Nobody was, uh, was aggregating the data at specific property level down the individual uh, the individual property. So. By pulling that together, um, and I say we are, we're four years in, and we've come a long way um, in that time, but there's still so much to do because it just is such a mess. And I often say, I think fintech is so far ahead of prop tech um, because their data is just so much easier to handle and so much more accessible. For us, this is this is a uh, it's great for this to to uh, be live now because every time a property is looked at in Swift or Swift report is generated, be it for uh, an agent and then goes and shares it with a with a buyer or a seller, um, or a viewer is taken out on a viewing. It's an opportunity for that data to be to be cleansed or or updated, which ultimately for, for the for the benefit of all. Um, and which is which is maybe a, a sort of it's it's, an, it's it's if you like it's the underlying why of of Swift, you know what our what our mission is. Um, so it's um, it's great. There's just a lot more, and we're, we're generating now about hundred thousand Swift reports. Are being generated a month or 100,000 properties have been looked at on Swift each month and that's increasing so to have the the, the viewers uh, throw that in as well that's going to um, just accelerate the amount that we can clean up. So what would you say Matt to the people that to estate agents who say well we don't want to put too much data on our property particulars and you you will have seen <laughs> if you go and look at properties these days and most an awful lot of them will simply just say that they they have to have the epc on my law but otherwise they just give a price and a and it just says leasehold and yeah. the reason for that clearly is that people want the people want potential buyers to pick up the phone and start talking to yeah, them yeah yeah um, they can then qualify them, you know, try and refer services, et cetera, et cetera. What do you say to people who, who say, well, we don't want to do that? I, well, we don't really hear that anymore. It was, yeah, probably 
four years, three, four years ago, yeah, that's when we probably last heard that. Nowadays, or the journey that we have seen is when we first gave agents the ability to, to present this information to ultimately to the, to the homeowner to, to help win the instruction. And that was our the first piece that really sort of um, gelled with us and we got great traction with agents. Um, and that was, you know, that's two and a half, two and a half plus years ago. Um, they liked it because it was a clear differentiator. It was a differentiator to, um, by being able to share this data on specific house, uh, a specific household along with the comparables to reports that only dealt with, say, the comparables. Then that uh, evolved into, oh, I really like this because this is helping me demonstrate that I am the, the true local property expert. Um, and probably for about the last now, and that is, that's evolved again. So for the last six to nine months, I've probably, certainly the more, more forward thinking, um, active um, uh, estate agents, agency businesses are talking about transparency. If I am this transparent about the information about the property that we're, we're transacting here, I'm equally transparent about negotiations, the deal, my overall dealings with um, that, that, that individual. And, um, and people buy that. And you know, everything's becoming more transparent um, since, you know, since, the, since we've had the internet. So um, it's just what's expected now. Uh, so we very, 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 in fact, I'm, yeah, I'm struggling to think of the last time an agent said to me, well, I don't know, this is maybe a bit too much information to be, to be, um, to be presenting. In fact, now it's like, can we have this? And we need this. And when can you get this? And when can we have this? And so we are, we're constantly, um, you know, our development roadmap is quite considerable. Just all the additional data that we're, we're pulling in, clean that up. And obviously we've been going four years. So our, our algorithms have been running for, for, for four years. Our insight just gets better and better and better. There's no shortcut. This stuff, you know, it does take time. But, um, yeah, I know one of the issues that our joint, that our various, our, our two development teams had when putting the pulling yeah. this together was yeah. one of the, the things you've just referred to was this um, having a single, uh, what's the right word, having the data presented in a in a uniform way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How so, much is that still a problem? Oh, massively, and and I mean, uh, you know, part of part of um, part of uh, of this relationship is obviously the the fact that you know the the, the trust agents put into viewer and you know by, by letting somebody else go and take their client you know their client's property there's a huge amount of trust there and and trust is a big thing when we're talking about data because you know anybody that's looking at you know, any kind of data report needs to have trust in the integrity of uh, the data in, in that report and a big part of what Sprith does is, is if you like, it's a translation piece. So Google, Google Maps, Street View will say your house is there. Ordnance Survey are going to say it's there. Land Registry are going to call it this. Ordnance Survey will call it that. Amazon will think they're delivering to this place. And they all have their own systems. And even though many of the, the bodies we get data from are government bodies, they all catalog it differently, organize it, locate that property differently. So the first part of what we we had to do is is translate all of that, and and that still is, is an ongoing problem. And there's something um, been spoken about uh, a lot more, and I think it's, it's unlocked from this month or next month is UPRN and UPRN, Unique Property Reference Number, is the only true um, currently nationwide way of having UPRN. What does that mean? So Universal it, Property it, Reference Unique Number. Unique Property right? Reference Number. Unique. Right. So you'll see we're, we're doing articles about this. Uh, we're talking about it more. Um, in fact, I was, I was speaking to an agent just this week who was talking about how he wanted to use our data. Really, really forward thinking, really exciting tech stuff. But, and, and, and he told me, said, well, what we, my, um, I've actually, I've, I've recruited my own CTO. And one of the first things he um, uh, said we must do is we must take every property in, our, in, our, in, our, in my database back to UPRN. And, the, you know, and he had then explained to the agent um, why he must do that. So when we're on a call, he said, right, so we want to do this with your data, blah, blah. Um, and um, you know, do you use UPRN? Do we use UPRN? I, you, I think you're one of the first agents I've ever heard that, that has got UPRN in the database. That's huge because it now means that straight away, we can give you all the data you want so much, um, uh, so much quicker. In fact, when we're looking at, you know, the, the, you think of the integration just between what we're doing here how do we, you know, you, you say, okay, right, we're going, uh, our view is going out to 22 Acacia Avenue. We want to send you the data report for 22 Acacia Avenue, but is it 22 Acacia Avenue? What, you know, just trying to 
do full address matching um, can be really difficult, especially where it's you know it's sort of in a town, in a or a village in a town, and you've got all of that in in the address structure. So if you just send us here's a UPRN, it's just a, a 10, 12, 11 digit number. Um, send us back the, the, the report for that. It's so much, so much easier. So you think uniform data entry is coming? I mean, it's- Oh, absolutely, yeah, 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 yeah. And, and there's, 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 there's lots, of, um, lots of work going on around schemas to make sure that, um, yeah, this is, a, this is what's gonna be a uniform, universal data set for yeah, any yeah. property, and that's the, it, it's the only way if we're gonna do anything to, to start- no, It will make life a lot easier. And yeah. you know, the idea that you can have, um, you know, property log books, you know, digi yeah. buckets, places yeah. to keep the data, et cetera, et cetera. If that's got a UPRN attached to it, then presumably that'll make life easier. One of the things we felt would be really helpful having thousands of viewers out in the field is that, of course, yeah. one, one of the things our viewers do is they're local. So when yeah. you've got all this hyper-local information, I'm assuming there'll be some feedback. If someone comes across some data that isn't right, the whole point of this, one of the points of this exercise is that they can come back and say, hang on a minute, that was wrong. So yeah. you can then change. So the data constantly as you say, cleanses itself. I mean, this is all foreign language to me, Matt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and me too, but just why I've got some good guys behind me. But um, it, exactly that, that's what I said earlier, it's the opportunity. So hopefully, you know, for, for, for the viewer, it's, it's, um, it's, it's making their life easier. So if they're, they're there and they can field via query, so it's just adding to that whole trust element and um, in making the ultimate the feedback to the agent is right. Well, you know, they asked about this, 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 and this. The viewer was able to answer that because they had access to you know, their, their local knowledge, their, their local IP, plus the, the SPRIF data. So now the agent can have a lot more meaningful conversation now, but straight down to right feedback. Did you like it or not? And, you know, um, if you didn't like that, what, 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 what are you looking for? Um, uh, and, um, yeah, I think that's that's uh, that's ultimately. And, and there's no limit on this data. It goes to it covers the whole of the UK. Does that include Northern Ireland? Is it whole UK wide? Where where does it cover? Yeah, so sort of going back to sort of uh, previous point about you know, cleaning data up. Um, the half of the issue we have is that information is held. So some information is UK wide. So yes, we do cover Scotland and Northern Ireland. Um, but then land registry only covers England and Wales, so they have a different land registry in Scotland and registered in Scotland and, and a different again in Northern Ireland. Then the EPC database is is, is different. Um, uh, so yes, it's uh, we. But yeah, um, any agent and any viewer can go in and search property anywhere in the UK. It's not just right. Well, just because I'm in Hertfordshire, I'm going to search properties in Scotland and Hertfordshire. No, you can search uh, UK wide. And one of the things that's happening with that now. Is agents are doing a lot more uh, like buyer representation. So they might have a, somebody who's selling in Cambridge, but buying in Cornwall. So they can go into Swift and do the, the report for the property they're buying in, in Cornwall and really offer, yes, it's, 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 a, it's a value add. But actually, it, the, the kind of the, the sneaky part of that is they can see, oh, right, there are any problems with the property they're buying that, that I, can, I can be aware of. You know, no, no, listen, listen, Matt, I think that's a massive issue. I was doing uh, an interview or a chat with um, Rich, Richard Rawlings, who you'll know okay. is, uh, yeah. um, is, is one of the top industry trainers. And yeah. Yeah. his latest video is all about how agents can turn themselves, not turn themselves into, but can add an income stream by using the buyer representation. So again, this is a classic yeah. example of how they can incorporate what's out there at the moment into, the, into that service. Yeah. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly, and I think it's um, well, yeah, and it plays to what to what you guys do, being able to offer that that uh, that that nationwide service. Um, but yes, we're we're seeing a lot of um, a lot of uptake in in buyer representation and 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 agents doing reports, if you like, off patch. Okay, for those who don't know, I mean, I think both of us have got brand names, which hopefully the industry is beginning to recognise. <laughs> Tell me. You talk about data on an individual property. Tell us what data, a spriff, what sort of thing will be in a SPRIF report? Oh, blimey. It's a long list. So anything that, well, the, it's, a long, it's, a, it's a long time since SPRIF uh, and what goes into SPRIF and the SPRIF report is, is my idea. This has been massively co-created with, with, with the industry. And so it's the information that... Um, uh, agents need uh, to hand a, a, click of a, a click of a button. So it's stuff like what, what, is, what type of property is it? How many beds is it? Where is it located? Can I see the, the title plan? Uh, 
uh, so I understand the, the boundaries. Is there an EPC, any photos, floor plans, floor area, plot size, um, sale history, and not just the last sale, um, transaction history, and when was it listed before? Was it reduced? Um, uh, you know, how long did it take to sell? Uh, percentage of asking price? Um, we put all, all the comparables in, um, including you know, all the archive stock in there as well. So it's, if you like, it's all the stuff that, um, that you would have in a normal, say, comparable report, plus all the property specific information. Um, and then um, the, the version that the, 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 the SPRIF report that the viewers have access to is our key facts for buyers, which is, um, again, it's all the information that, that has been fed back to us that, that buyers need. So it, in addition, it has the transport links, it has the school links, it has, um, we've got local amenity data in there. So, um, so they can get a favor of that, right, that's the property. And there's all this hyper local information I, I need as well. So I just, you know, know any property instantly. That's, that's, uh, yeah, that's kind of what we do. Well, I'd like to think that anybody who is looking at this, if you are a small agent, we know that 75% of the agents out there are small one man, you know, not one man band, but one office, maybe one or two offices, or whether you're a larger outfit that wants to um, talk about this wider service, both of them, please do get in touch with either Matt or me and, yes. and talk yeah. about it. Yeah. But in the meantime, I just think this collaboration is great. It's, um, you've got two completely national services, you know, yeah. Vuba has one service level agreement which covers the whole of the UK. You're providing something that covers the whole of the UK, and it seems to me to, to be the perfect combination. And like all these things, it's taken time to arrive where we are now. But I'm really chuffed. So, yeah, no, as far as yeah, yeah, we're very excited this then because, yeah, it's it's not only it, it, yeah that national service part is is um, is very relevant, and also yeah, it's helping us clean the data. Uh, for all and, and ultimately both of us to offer a, a, a better service.